Hi guys and welcome back to my summer car. Uh, in this episode we're going to look at fitting some bits to the actual car, sorting out some of these suspension bits and stuff like that. Hopefully getting in a position to eventually get the engine fit. I'm going to need to turn some lights on. First, actually I've just noticed my dirtiness uh, reading, whatever, meter. I'm very dirty. So, we're going to sort that out now. I think it's through here. Yep. It's on. It's on already. I don't want to wreck it. Uh, where's the bucket? Where is the bucket? It's supposed to be here. Where did I put it? It's up there where I left it. Clearly where I left it. Okay, cool. Don't want the temperature to go down too much. I didn't realise this would actually be turned on still. I thought it was on a timer. But apparently not. So we can use this bucket to fill it with water. Okay, bucket goes under the tap. Tap on. Move the bucket. Okay, that's full. Tap off. Bucket over here. It's a good job that it doesn't tip over like a uh, normal bucket in the real world. Right, let's close this door to keep the heat in. Thermometer says it's still pretty warm in here. So we can use this thing. Yep. To fill it with water. And then splash it on there. And that should reduce our dirtiness level. However, I think, as soon as it's been so long, it might take a little bit. Okay, I think that'll do for now, so let's put this down and get out of here. Got pretty dark in between time, so let's sleep and uh, see if we can make it through till morning. Alright, we've woken up the phone ringing. Nope, not interested. Let's carry on with our car. So, unfortunately, we're working at night here, which isn't ideal. Can we sleep through again? I don't think we can until we're tired. No, we can't use that. Let's see if we can turn some lights on around the house at least. Yeah, that's on. We might as well turn the light on in here as well. Getting a little bit hungry, so I'll grab some of our food from the van. Okay, I'm not going to start working on this till it's daylight, so I can really see what I'm doing. But I'm going to move some stuff out here, just some bits that I'll need and stuff. Might as well put the tools down here. That little bit framey there for a second. Put the tools down so I can reach them nice and easily. While we're in the box open. Open. And I'll move some of the bits outside that I know we're going to potentially need for this. Brake master cylinder, that can go out. We'll use this to get the car jacked up. I think we'll jack it up from, we'll do it like here. I guess this will be fine. Probably better to jack it up from the front, actually. Okay, that's as high as it'll go. Okay, guys, looks like the sun's starting to come up now, so I'm going to start working on this thing. I think the first thing we need to put in place is this, which is the subframe, which just kind of goes in here somewhere in the bottom. In the bottom of the engine bay, and this is kind of what everything connects. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Right, now I need to bolt this in place. I'm going to find the right spanner. That's the first thing. We actually need to find some bolts that need to go in first. Right, yeah, I can see the bolt there. Spanners are here. Right, let's go with like a medium one to start with. Tool mode. There we go. Okay, got the right spanner to tighten that up with, I think. I need to get a bit closer to it. There we go. I'm pretty sure there's uh, four bolts for this. Yep, that bolts down from the top. And that's going to be the same around the other side. Down from the top. That one there. I think that's it. I suppose we'll try and fit these shock absorber things next. Struts, is it? Looks like they go in here. I did have a quick look at this before, and I haven't tried this before though, so could be completely wrong. Hang on, these are sided, aren't they? It could be I could be doing this on the wrong side. Let's try these things then next. Wishbone. Does this fit? Oh, hang on. are these sided? Oh yeah, FR. That's gonna be front right, isn't it? So let's put it on this side. Looks like it fits in there. Oh, yep, yeah, we got a tick. Perfect. We'll put the other one in then while we're at it. I happen to have the right spanner to tighten these up. Excellent, right. Okay, it's both sides done there. Let's try the uh, this thing again. I need to go back to control. It might be that that fits on top of the wishbones or something. Mm, still not getting in. This doesn't look like it's going to fit in yet. Pretty sure that's where it's going to go, but nope, don't know yet. Brake drums, I think, are going to go on next. Uh, after the actual brakes, of course, the drum goes on top of the brakes, so it's going to be disc brake. It's actually that bit that clips on there. The disc brake, wherever it's gone. Probably clips on top of that, I'd imagine. Yep. Is there anything to screw that thing in place there? Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like there's a bolt underneath. So we're going to need uh, the right size spanner again. Let's put this side on first, and then we can work out what spanner we need using that. Okay. Got to try and work out where all the noise is coming from. Okay, found the right spanner to do that, so tighten that up. I think that was the only bolt on that piece. Something's going on here, so I'm going to have to mess about with that. Right, let's get that bolt tightened up. And there we go, that one's tightened. Cool. Okay, I just tried the jack in a different place. Uh, it wasn't really causing too many problems, but it was making a pretty annoying noise. So let's get this jacked up again. Right, yeah, not looking particularly stable, but hopefully it'll be alright like that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need to put on is... Ah, uh, brake discs, yeah. Flip into place, and there's a big 
bolt to put them in so I'll just grab the other one put it on the other side so we can find the right spanner for it, it looks like it's going to be like the biggest one oh second from one and two right those are bolted in these are going to have to go on like uh, pretty soon ah right this goes in place now except that's now fallen off the jack which is and there we go one two that's our two pieces on okay phone's ringing we'll answer that nope not interested okay the jack's fallen out unfortunately let's see if we can get it back in a better place like uh, maybe under the subframe thing here except no that's not going to work so I'm going to put the wheel on let's see if we can pump it up to the front again why not hey this worries me because this obviously doesn't look right but I'm hoping it's just to do with the uh, the wheel being turned maybe that's kind of like ratcheting kind of like backwards and then forwards like that is the other one doing the opposite yeah it kind of goes up like forwards and backwards I think it's because the wheels are turned well you know what I mean Right, let's get this screwed down then, so we're going to need some of these things from this side. Okay, I found the right spanner for these, so we'll get this piece bolted on. I'm guessing there's going to be some kind of fixing on the bottom part of it as well, so we'll go and look at that in a second. But for now, we can get that on. And then after that, I think we can look again the front wheels on. Okay, that's fixed. Is there... Yeah, there's a couple of fixings down here as well that I can't really get to. Those... Looks like the car's just slowly slipping off the jack here, so we're probably just going to have to let that happen. Tools are falling over. I uh, found the right one for these, so let's get these screwed in. They're a bit of a difficult one to get to, but oh, there's four as well. Four or three? No, it looks like there's four. I'd have missed those if I hadn't looked. God, that's difficult to get into. Okay, let's do that. Oh, car fell. This phone's annoying me, so I'm going to go and answer it, and it stopped ringing just as I get there. Never mind. Right, let's fix these on. Okay, that's both sides fixed. I think I'm going to just jack this back up and then we can get the front wheels on. I'm pretty sure that that's the position we're at now. Again, I could be completely wrong and doing this the wrong way around, but it'd be nice to get the wheels on at least. Okay, car jacked. One wheel, rear right, rear left, front right, front left. Let's go for that one first. And excellent. I'll get the other one while I'm at it. From right and we should be able to click that one in place like that excellent sweet right so we're gonna need the right screwdriver for it it's probably gonna be I imagine it's gonna be like the biggest one or the second from the biggest one at least not the biggest one second no third yeah we go that's it right get these on okay that's the right side done now for the left and that's the left side done, so we should just be able to jack it down now. Uh, that's with this. Cool. The wheels are on. Right, let's jack up the back now. Can we... Is there like car ground here? Yeah, we can put it under there. That's not quite how I wanted it to go, so we'll move it to the back, I think. Yeah, it looks like we can just jack directly under here. No problem. Okay, that's it jacked up at the back, so let's look at what pieces we're going to need. Phone's ringing. Let's see who it is. Can you suck our sewage well dry? I pay, of course. Not interested. Not yet. Not yet, anyway. So, I think we're going to need these things for the back here. No. Yep. Those are going to be for the front. Those will be for the back. We've got some at the front already. Steering rods are going to be for the front. Those half shafts are going to be for the front. Okay. These bits, maybe. Are these, are these like uh, right, left? Right, no, rear, left. What am I talking about? Right, left. Uh, these bits going anywhere? Oh, hang on. I actually just got a tick. Yes. Excellent. Right, cool. I'm going to bring the tools around here, I think, because trying to run back and forward to find out what kind of spanner you need is an absolute pain. Okay, we've got our tools right where we need them. Found it. Perfect. And there's another one. Sweet, that's that. Let's get the one for the other side then. And uh, that pretty much clips in exactly the same place, but the opposite way around, and same spanner, perfect. There we go. That's those things in place. Cool. Uh, should we see where the springs go next? Just throw them over. Okay, let's see if we can find where this fits in. I imagine it just pops over this thing here. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Perfect. We're going to need something else though. And same with this one on this side. I imagine it's going to do exactly the same thing. That being said, I can't seem to get it to... Uh, I just got it at the wrong angle or something. There we go. Shock absorbers. These are going to be needed back here. Phone's ringing again. 
Not interested. I actually managed to find a way to put this in. Sweet. Right, so there is a way. It's just really, really super awkward. Okay, so let's try and get this one in on the other side. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. There's got to be a place for that to actually fix into underneath. Do you know what? If I close this door, will that drown at the sound of the phone? Not at all. Well, that's creepy. I think, is that just one or is there more than one under there? I really can't tell. There's only one that seems to be glowing up, so let's have a look around the side. Just one, yeah, it looks like it's just one straight into the bottom. I imagine that's going to bolt in from the top as well, though, so... Can you get to it from in here? Ah, yes, you can, if you can get in. I don't know how I'm going to actually get in and do that. Can I get in the car here? I can, but I certainly can't reach that bolt. No. Ah, it's a different size spanner. I've worked out you can get to it from there. Just, it's a bit of a cheat, but you can actually just reach almost through the metal of the car and tighten it up. Just like that. So I'm pretty sure that that's all kind of fixed in place and stuff. Yep, yeah, and I think that... Let's have a look if we missed any parts or anything. I think that's pretty much everything for the back. We haven't, there's some parts we've missed from the front. But as for the back, that looks like that's about it. Right, so that can go on. Um, imagine it's going to be quite a big spanner again. Yep, second. That one's up. And we can go around and put this one on the other side, which is here like that. Same size spanner. That's on, and we are now ready to put the wheels on at the back. So, cool. Let's go and grab them. Rear right. On. And the rear left. On. Cool. Right, let's tighten this up. Uh, third size, was it? Yep. Just noticing some bolts that aren't tightened up there. Hopefully I can do that without... Uh, without having to take the wheels off again, because that'll be pretty annoying if that's the case. I'll try and jack it up from the side in a bit, see if I can do those. Okay, those are the two back wheels on. Sweet. We should be able to just jack that down now. Uh, there we go. And if we take it back to the front... And we'll jack the front up again, because... We've got some uh, stuff to do. And I'm going to actually just jack it up from the side, I think. Yeah. That just feels like it's going to give us a little bit more kind of flexibility. Okay, sweet. Let's see if we can get some of this stuff in. So, half shafts. These should go inside the front to drive the wheels, I guess. If I can drop in there, that'd be helpful. Steering rod front right. Let's see if we can find where this goes. Okay, can't figure that out. Let's try the steering column. I think I know which way around this goes. Where did that just fly off to? There it is. Okay, steering rack. Let's try this out. Oh. Does this uh, kind of go across here or something? Because it looks like maybe it would. Uh, let's try picking it up again. Not a lot of room in the engine here. I'm sure I just got a tick then when I was messing about with it. Did I? That looks like it almost certainly drops onto there like that. Right, so we managed to get that thing in place, so let's see what tools we need for it. Okay, we've got the right spanner for this thing now, so we can tighten up this and fix the steering rack in place. Yep, that's right. I think after this I'm starting to get a bit of a loss about where it goes well. We'll just try the steering column again now that this thing's actually in place. In fact, I'm just realising, because this is what I don't know about steering, is that the steering rods probably... Let me get my... Uh, normal view back. Probably go on the end of these things here. Were these uh, sided or not? I can't remember. Yeah, front right. So this is for this side. So let's see if this clips onto the end of this thing. I really need to get a better angle on things here. So, I mean, like uh, uh, kind of turn it around like that. If I pick it... Uh, I can't get to it. Okay, cool. So, where is it? Will that fit onto the end of there? Uh, it definitely feels like it should. Okay, well, I'm kind of at a loss what I'm doing with this now. So, I think we'll call this an end to the episode. We've got pretty much most of the suspension and stuff done like that. In the next episode, we'll look at finishing off that. There's hardly any parts left, so we'll look at getting the engine fitted into the car. That'll be our goal in the next episode. Guys, if you enjoyed this, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. That's why, why I know uh, to keep making these things. Thanks for watching. Peace.